Hey guys, it's Tamman doing well and welcome back to the NFL prediction series. Last time we did week 17 and today we're going to be doing the playoffs with the wild card. Before we get into that, let's go over week 17 where I got a lot of my predictions wrong and a lot of things shaped up for the postseason. First of all, we had the Bengals actually beat the Browns and which moves them to a final record of 2 and 14. Browns are 6 and 10. And they fired their head coach, Freddie Kitchens. The Jets did win, so did the Chiefs. The Jaguar, Jaguars win this one. The Miami Dolphins actually beat the New England Patriots, which means that they will play, are playing this week in the wild card. So that was a really crazy game with the Dolphins winning. Happy they won. And New England could be one and done. The Ravens won, to my surprise. I, I thought that the Steelers were going to win. Um, but the elements were just too much for them. And the Titans did win, which means the Tennessee Titans are in the playoffs, which makes me really happy. Um, and then I believe the Broncos won this one. And that ends kind of the season. So this is the AFC playoff picture. The Ravens are number one. The Chiefs are number two. So those are the two teams that will have the home field advantage. And then New England, um, Houston, Buffalo, and Tennessee will all be playing this wild card weekend. So that's kind of the AFC playoff picture. A bit different than I thought. I thought the Chargers would make it, and it looked like the Colts were going to, but some new teams, which is always fun. NFC, the Falcons beat the Buccaneers in overtime. Jameis Winston ends up throwing 30 touchdowns and 30 picks on this season. However, he also has 5,000 passing yards, which has only been done by, like, Dan Marino, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, Big Ben, Matt Stafford. I think that's all the quarterbacks have done. It's only like eight other guys or something like that. So congrats to Jameis Winston. The Cowboys did win, but the Eagles won. Boston Scott carries the Eagles to an NFC East title. Carson Wentz also was really great in this game. And I am so happy. As an Eagles fan, I can't believe they actually made the postseason. Really exciting. The Packers did win. The Saints one as well. Chicago ends their regular season with a win. So does LA, but the Niners win a fantastic game against the Seahawks. So the NFC one seed is going to be the Niners. The two seed is the Packers, so those two teams will have home field advantage. And then three seed is New Orleans, four is Philly, five is Seattle, and six is Minnesota. Really different playoff picture, kind of like the AFC, but some new teams and should be a really fun postseason. I think that there's a lot of interesting storylines going into this playoff picture. And let's see um, who I think will be winning wildcard weekend. So here are the four matchups we have. They're all really good. We have the Bills against the Texans, Patri uh, Titans against the Patriots, Seahawks against the Eagles, Vikings against the Saints. So I'll start with today's games on Saturday. Bills, Texans, I feel like the Bills are going to win. The Texans have been very hit and miss to the season. There's been moments where they look like a team that could win the Super Bowl and moments where they have struggled. I just think the Bills' defense is really good, and the Texans have always struggled in the postseason. And I just don't know if this is the year where they're going to get it done. I love Deshaun Watson, but man, this Bills' defense, I've been watching a good amount of their games, and they are really good. Tredavious White is probably one of the best corners in the NFL. And that offense can also move the ball. They can run the ball. Josh Allen's had a pretty nice year. So I feel like the Bills are going to win. Um, I think it'll be close either way. It wouldn't shock me if Houston wins. I mean, they definitely have the pieces to do it um, and stuff. But I think that the Bills um, will win here um, against the Houston Texans. Titans, Patriots. I want to go Titans, and I think there's a good chance they win. The running game with Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill's been playing well. I just feel like you can't count out, can't not count out Tom Brady and the Patriots. I think they'll come behind and win. I can see this: the Titans leading like 17 to six, and then New England coming back and winning. I just think how that game could go. So for both of these games, I could see the other team winning. I think all. Four of these games, for the most part, will be close, but I have New England winning this. I'll say 23-20 um, by a field goal, and I'll have Buffalo winning. Let's go 
17. I think they'll both be low-scoring games. For the NFC, Seattle and Philadelphia. For me, um, this is a game that I'm going to go with the Seahawks. Um, I, I know that some people are saying the Eagles, and I'm a huge Eagles fan, but I just feel like Seattle, you can't count on a guy like Russell Wilson, who's been fantastic this year. And I just think that in a game like this, you have to go with him. Um, Eagles have a ton of injuries. I know Seattle does too. I just think uh, this is difficult. But I just feel like the Seahawks are the better team with the better quarterback. And Seattle beat Philadelphia this year already. So, yeah. I'm taking the Vikings against the Saints. Um, this is kind of my upset of the week. Um, I just feel like the Vikings have a good chance of beating New Orleans. Um, they have their playmakers back, and this offense can be really good. I just see the Saints being done. Um, and so that means if everything goes correct, 